Okay, well, this, this is kind of cool. This shows, in a lot of ways, how we work the shots up. Most of the time, well, all the time, we start with the storyboard, and we take it through stages where we mock it up. We turn it into what we call an animatic, which is a roughed-out version. Uh, although sometimes, in some, some instances, we actually shot video. Uh, we shot the whole intro on video and used that in, in place of the animatic and for reference material. Obviously, right here is a perfect example of effects being used the from the storyboard to you the something? animatic and then to the final piece, which went over really well. When I dreamt, the pipe, the memories, and the camera angles, and everything the just from reference just worked out really, really well. There's going to be a monkey on the table. <laughs> to, to That's actually me holding the sword right there. That he struggled to contain. One thing that when we did shoot it on video, we found there were things that happened that we didn't we didn't expect to happen that we ended up adding to the actual cinematics. For instance, there was some dust in the air in, in the video, and we added it to the cinematics because it looked great. Um, another thing that shooting on video helped us out with was, I mean, you have all these storyboards up, but you, it's, it's hard sometimes to really get the flow of it just looking at drawn storyboards. And it takes a while sometimes to get the, the, the animatics mocked up. So we could take the video in to Joe and edit it all and see how it worked and, and what didn't work and how the timing was. And that was really, really helpful. Uh, um, as far as the timing goes, yeah, it was extremely helpful because we were able to get rid of like, the dust and the dust and things like that early in the project. And uh, that we got a little bit more yeah. focused on what they were working on. Definitely able to, to narrow it down and see things that just were unnecessary and just didn't work.